everyone, I'm Lynx4 and welcome back to Cola. We actually only need one more to go and that's 752. We are currently right here and 752 is all the way over here, wherever, somewhere. So I have to get out of this cave and make it north. Alright, finally made it out of that cave. Took a little while, but we are out and there's something up there. Maybe it's a campsite where we could save it, where we could be safe. Hopefully, maybe a new note from the nine, from one of the nine people that actually died in the real world incident. So let me just check this out. No, it's not. It's just a campsite. Let's go and move forward. Of course, wait, what? I found something finally. Oh, you're just standing there. You know, at the beginning, I wanted to make things right. I believed God itself touched me. That I have received a chance, a compensation for the evil that was brought upon me. That I understood that it is not God, or good, or restitution. Just a tool of revenge. Alright. Whatever, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. I know I'm supposed to get to that fire somehow. Oh, there we are. So conveniently placed in front of me. Two fires leading to the bridge. So I had to actually go all the way around, I believe, over here. So now I'm gonna walk up here all the way to 7.52. Probably into this cave and around in there. So here we go. Up into the final final. Oh man, a lot of skulls. The final little marker wants us to go. I don't know if this is the end of the game or if there's another act after this. There might be another act because this is still act two, finding all of these different markers. So, are you coming to me? Let's see what happens once we get to the, the end of this. This is very creepy. This seems like a ritual place, maybe. We found little rituals all over this mountain. But this place seems to have a lot more of them with skulls and everything else. Okay, and a lot of these little tiki, tiki uh, heads, wood carvings, whatever. We're gonna head inside of this cave pretty soon. Maybe to the end of the game or maybe into act three. I still don't know. We know there was experiments going on in the island. I mean, I don't wanna go down there. Did I miss something? We know there's experiments happening. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. And, but we don't know what kind of experiments. Oh. Hi. No, do I run? I think it's time to run. Okay, no. Oh. Really? I should have ran the whole time. Yes, I am dead. That was not good. We are going to run right through that this time instead of walking around wondering what the little ghost is doing. That's Whoa, I'm all the way over here. Oh, I'm all the way over here. Let's go. Five minutes later, I'm finally... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, rest a little bit. Had a little... little bit of a bad start there. Okay. Now run. Run, run, run. No, wait. Now run. Run, run, run. Run as fast as you can. Come on. Come on. I made it! No! This is so dumb. I... It took me five... Minutes to walk all the way back there, now to do it again. Aha! I think I found a note so I can save it closer. Thank you. Confidential correspondence of Section 22 scientists. I tested subject number confidential. They did not show any supernatural skills. You had to make a mistake. Sincerely, Dr. Whatever. Dr. Whatever, I agree with you. The second test did not show any skills. We may deem the experiment concluded and unsuccessful. The subject should be removed. We will prepare transport to Waldemar 30. Please destroy all documentation and correspondence. Clearly, Dr. Whatever name redacted. Anyways, I think that they're talking about us, that we didn't show any signs of whatever. But then we eventually did. But I'm excited because finding a note or finding a capsite means the game has saved. So it has saved closer to this. And I don't have to walk for five minutes all the way over here in case I die again. It will just be a short one minute walk. So let's go ahead and try not to die to a falling rock again. 
What if I just stand back here? Huh? And I wait for all of that to go. There we go. You're gonna stop soon, right? I don't know why it would happen to collapse right when I arrive over here. You're done? You're done. There we go. Just thought I saw a floating rock. Oh, this is the rock that killed me? Yeah, that's pretty much big enough to kill anybody. Now let's go into the cave. The final cave of the game, maybe. I don't know if there's an act three or if there's anything else beyond it. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm a little close there. Little close there. Um, oh, come on, why are you walking? I don't know why they all decide just to walk as close as they can to you. But I'm gonna go, go around, sneak over here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, you're following me practically. You're practically following me. So, north or, let's go to that giant tiki head. Maybe that's where it may be, the final notes. I hear something. <laughs> I hear something. Uh, you guys know where it is? No? Uh, hopefully I'm not walking past it. Up here. Don't go down, go up. I remember we had to go up and around. To the top of the mountain. Don't know why the music started. Why did the music start? Hello? I just wanted to go, I hear a paper. I definitely hear a paper. Oh, it's probably up there. How do I get back in there? Where are you? I don't know where I am. Why are you asking me where I am? Oh, where the... I'm leaving the... Oh. Hi! I need to go up that? I hear papers everywhere. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Really? That has to collapse right there? Oh, definitely not this way. Okay. All right, we're good. Maybe. What is this? What is this? Nothing? All right, just gotta sneak by this guy. I don't know where that paper is coming from. I don't know where he went. Oh, here we go. Now, what does this say? The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m. we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. Then it all started. What started? This is what we've been trying to figure out this whole time. We know that we were probably experimented on and probably discarded, but then woke up, maybe? Who knows? But what is exactly going on and what killed them we do not know at this point i think i'm supposed to go that way follow the torches up over here i guess here we go back into the cave hopefully maybe i think i think so hello what is this place uh, what is this place? I found the note right here, and right here is where I'm supposed to be going. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be going. This is probably the final area. Why are there chains everywhere? Why are people tied up? Hi. Is there a note? Uh, Mr. What? Why is there an animal sitting like that? Uh, where's this paper? I hear it. Oh, it's right there. I was standing on it. 
Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to! My only cellmate, Anton, whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, then. I think that's my cue to get out of here. Uh, I don't think I'm getting out of here. Uh, they at least something. They found something and at least something very terrifying, maybe even demonic in a way. Oh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Is there any way out? I mean, there's tons of dead bodies on the floor everywhere. Oh, this way. Over here. Come on. Run a little faster. Now is not the time to run out of breath. Back into the cave system. Here we go. Here we go. Now where'd I go? Puppet time! Puppet time! Oh man! Oh, not that way! Okay, oh, not that way! Okay, I guess we're gonna go this way. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna follow you! Can you please leave me out of here? Uh, you're not leaving me anywhere. Oh, I just made that jump. Just made that jump. Stay away from the orange mist. I don't know, the orange mist is some kind of experimentation on the mind or something. Uh, hopefully nothing falls on me. Even though I ran out of breath right now. I don't know, all I can gather is they discovered some sort of unnatural force. Or maybe they're calling it a natural phenomenon. But it's definitely something demonic that was not being allowing the scientists to test on it. It was testing the scientists probably transforming them. Oh no! What? Huh? You 
came out of nowhere. What was that? I don't know where he came from last time. But at least we know, we know that we are actually a test subject and Antoine is not a doctor, but was in fact our cellmate. Saving, okay. Okay, we saved. Where are we? Let me look at the map really fast. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, uh, huh, 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 huh. I don't know. I don't know where we are. I gotta keep on moving. Oh, we came out of the exit of the cave. I know exactly where we are. Where are you? Oh God, again! <laughs> oh, at least we're gonna start right there. I believe so. Right? I just saved it at that save point. Lord of little monsters. There we go. Around this corner and down this way. We are going to go all the way south and back to the main campsite because that's all I can think of right now. We are in the ice. Just gotta follow our compass. Follow our compass all the way down. I think. What's that noise? Seriously, what's that noise? Some loud, thunderous something. You just heard that that time. I know that's for sure. There it is. There it is. Those giant rocks are doing it again. I don't know why you're all acting all crazy. That's really weird. But I mean, the smartest option for us really is not the smartest option, but the smartest option for us is to go right in the middle of it. I don't know, I read all the notes you wanted me to. And of course, there are my notes. I read the notes I was writing, if I am me. Yeah, okay. Uh. Here, take all my pages. Take all of them and put. Hmm. What? And so we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? No. There are no random victims, and nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree, but when the gates to Section Twenty Two open and the world will see true madness. You will understand that everything I had done was necessary. Uh, what did you do? I don't really understand what you've done besides lead me into this crazy area and constantly talking to my ear, whisper. Huh? Hello? Where are you? Where are you Who was that? Should I follow this road or just head straight up there? Yeah, I, I can hear you, and I can see you. Uh, all right, I'm definitely going crazy now. I'm just gonna follow this path instead of taking the shortcut all the way up there. All right, so I believe the guy that's been talking to us is Anton, and he's kind of got it in our heads a little bit, drove us crazy. That's what the orange mist kind of does, brings out our, our, okay, campsite, brings out the craziness in us. Something? The crazy demonic forces? Demonic forces? What? It's closed. It's closed. Hello? Hello? Colat! Colat! <laughs> we were the killer! We are the ones! That was their campsite right there at the end. We snuck in there and just killed them all. I guess we were just tested on and experimented on and just drove insane. The timeline was really weird. I guess that was before anything ever happened. I don't know if there was some sort of demonic presence that these Russians found and were trying to, you know, release it and experiment on it, on these subjects, but we were one of the subjects that were experimented on. So I'm thinking we had some sort of supernatural abilities to kill and we were eventually the killers 
oh, of no. these nine people in the end. So Just that's pretty crazy. I did not expect it to end it like that at all. That was all the way around. I really, really enjoyed playing this game. Although, although it didn't have all the really, really scariness that, you know, some of these games have when you play it. It was a really good atmospheric game. The sound was great. The production was great. All the graphics. The graphics were great. <laughs> wow, I really liked playing this game. Just exploring through the mountains. Even though I cut out a lot, all of the times I was walking, it, w it wasn't really bad for me. I enjoyed walking and seeing the views. Everything was really amazing. I just wish they upped the scariness a little bit, but really it's just a story about how these experiments really killed everybody. I mean, and that's kind of how that one movie that's based off of this event, it's called um, Devil's Path. It's something sort of along the same lines, kind of not really, but I guess a lot of what these tried, people are trying to say that these Russian experiments are what killed all these people. Well, anyways, that was Colette, a really enjoyable game. Thanks for watching. Link for out. Oh, why do you have a giant place and you don't put anything in the <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh.